With Watches and Wonders just around the corner, I'm going to be discussing the Rolex discontinuations of 2024. So we're into the best part of the Rolex year, the hype, the predictions, the rumours, all the things that you guys and us this side of the desk, we like to kind of predict. You'll see all the photos coming out on social media of possible new releases and also the discontinuations. And it's really good information for you guys out there. And notoriously and historically with Rolex, when you think a watch is gonna go, when people start hyping it up, there's a good chance it would, but there's also a good chance it won't. Let's look at the John Mayer. Let's look at the Platona, the Platinum Daytona. Everybody thought that was gonna go on a particular year. What happened? It ended up going the following year. If you're buying, and we never sell on that at LWC, we will always say, do not buy under discontinuation. Do not buy because you're hoping it gets discontinued. If it does, great. But there's a good chance that all the models that I'm going to discuss here are actually not going to go this year and possibly next year. So the first model, rumoured to be discontinued, and the most talked about hyped model of 2024 is, I'm sure no surprise to you guys, the GMT Master II Pepsi. I've got one here to show you. This is the 40 mil iconic maxi case, Jubilee bracelet, the most iconic one of its category. Definitely one that you guys want to pull the trigger on. Historic uh, bezel problems, as we all know. It's one of those watches that everybody's hoping to get discontinued. It'll be a little bit of a shame for me if it does, because I genuinely really like this watch, but there's a good chance this year everyone's saying it's going to go. Honestly, my opinion, I think it's going next year. I think they're still releasing some. We're not seeing many coming through, but we're seeing the odd one. But I have to say, my contacts are telling me this watch in 2024 is harder to get than a Panda Daytona, and that's almost impossible to get as well. So that tells you how hard this watch is. We've only had one 2024 modeling at LWC, and we saw a trickle come through the end of 2023. So that tells you there's very limited supply out there, 80% less production. It is gonna go, but will it be this year or next year? The next one in the category is, no surprise, same reference, the GMT reference, the GMTs. It is the Sprite. The left-hand drive for right-handed people. We sell them both to clients who buy them and wear them on their left and also their right. I actually have two actually, so I've got the Jubilee here and I've also got the Oyster bracelet there. So a bit of a treat for you guys. I've actually got both for you to see and compare. I really like this watch. I think it is such a good long-term. We do not like to sell the word investment at LWC. It will have a short run. Will it go this year? I'm not convinced. I think next year or the year after, but you guys are buying these in your droves. Retail price for us to sell this watch to you guys is around £18,000. The actual market price for you to buy from Rolex, the RRP is just under 10 now, but they are so hard to get. We are still getting through at LBC. This is a brand new, fully stickered 2024, just coming to LBC this morning. And this is another 2024, brand new, partly stickered. We actually had another of the Jubilee. A client collected that on Saturday. If you're watching, you know who you are. And that was fully stickered. And he's bought it as a commodity. Bit of a shame, but that's the way the market is. For him, I hope it does get discontinued, but we also don't sell on a discontinuation at LWC. We will say if it goes great, and if not, play the long game. So there's a good chance that could go this year, but my spies tell me it's gonna be next year. And the next one I'd like to talk about is probably really surprising for me. It is a hard watch to get. You have to spend a lot of money to get this watch and it's room to be discontinued this year. We've actually had two in last week at LWC, sold them both, and it is no surprise it is the OP41 Celebration. I love this watch. I think it's absolutely great, great watch. And if you look at this in the current market, the Tiffany, the blue, the discontinued 41, is selling for more than this watch. So for you savvy guys out there on the market looking to buy a watch, it's no surprise that when we get one of these, we'll sell it within hours. It's selling for less than £16,000. We've just sold this for just under. What great value for money. What a great long-term. And what one that you can put away and put in your collection and there's not many of out there. And it's just such a good all-round watch. It's something different. Compare it to the puzzle dial in the day date range. We see none of them coming through. Look at the premium of that watch. Look where this is at. Less than an OP41 Tiffany. It's a no-brainer. And if it was me there watching this video, I would be pulling the trigger tomorrow. 
So I've got some really good information for you. Obviously, I've been in this industry for nearly 10 years now. We've seen many discontinuations and new releases from Rolex. And historically, there's more information out there. There's channels like myself and plenty of other watch channels out there on YouTube where you can actually find the information. And the thing is now, people are very aware. People buy hoping it gets discontinued. The only downside to that is, Historically, if something got discontinued, it would go up overnight. Because there's so many people doing it now and buying to put away, they flood the market with the watches, they'll actually drive the price back down to less than what it was before it got discontinued. And then slowly over time, obviously, they will go up. So just be careful of that. If you're buying for discontinuation, I'd the same to my client that bought the Jubilee Sprite off me on Saturday, I advised him, you know, there's a good chance it might not go. Hopefully it will for you. But if long-term wise, you know, you're absolutely fine definitely a short run but just really be careful out there when you're buying on the high buying on the way up you know if it doesn't go don't be disappointed and when it does go if it drops slightly and dips in the market which they normally do don't be disappointed because long term you'll be absolutely fine so let's talk about what's definitely going very much hard for me to say that because nobody really knows but from my very good contacts that are telling me the information there's two really good models which are rumored to be definitely going and one is the yacht master 2 the 44 millimeter comes in the steel the steel and rose and the yellow gold one of my personal favorites the yellow gold historically it's a big watch it's not that popular not many rolex ad's get requested they don't get that many in that's one that's on the list where pretty much i can honestly say there's a very good chance that's going to go the other one is in the date just range the motif i've got the blue one here we actually had two motifs in last week so we had the one in this combination the fluted jubilee we had the plane with the smooth bezel on the oyster again with the motif sold out yesterday the motif one in the date just range the mint and the blue they're rumored to be definitely going so if you're looking to buy that watch there's a good chance it will go there's no guarantees of course but from my contacts that i've spoke to and i've heard it quite a few times it's going to definitely be going so historically when we've had a big year the year before with the discontinuations the next year is not as big and sometimes obviously with last year it was the rolex daytonas they were all fully discontinued all new models and references released and some never to come back again and so i'd be surprised if there's any changes in the daytona range what i would like to see in a couple i'm just going to throw a couple in just what i would like to see from rolex is a right hand drive sprite so obviously we've got the the left heel use the oyster just for reference so i'd like to see a right hand drive version of that i think it proved really popular because the, the clients we sell these to actually do wear the watches on the left and some of them are put off and buying it because they don't want to obviously start wearing it on the right so if we saw a right hand drive of that i think that would really be popular would they discontinue that one's well, probably a good chance they would because they want to obviously bring a new model out the one i'd like to see is actually stay in the gmt range is a root beer so this particular one here you know like i said one of our best-selling models i'd like to see that on a jubilee so the gr and r the yellow gold aka the zombie the new one with a two-tone bezel if they release that on a jubilee bracelet i think that'd be absolutely stunning and really popular by the way i'm sure would be requested that watch a lot not a lot for rolex to change they can use the same size case same obviously bezel and they can obviously put a new movement in it throw a jubilee bracelet on it and then give it a new reference it'd be the same with this one here obviously on the right hand drive and the other one i'd like to see is a 42 mil rose gold oyster flex yacht master i've got a, a white gold one to show you here so the 40 mil in this version this is the white gold 42 this is the stealth one out of the lineup they do the yellow gold again in the 42 the yellow gold has proved more popular for us at LWC in the current marketplace and carries a bit more of a premium. The one that they've left in the party is the 40 millimeter rose gold 40. That one has now become more of a unisex watch. We do sell them to male clients, but unfortunately we do get the feedback that it does look and wear a bit small, hence why it's become more of a ladies watch. So if they release one of these, but in the 42 mil rose gold, I think that'd be a really popular watch. It wouldn't be hard for Rolex to do. They've already got the custom of the cases. They've just got to make it in rose gold, use the same combination as what they've got on these for the bracelet and the clasp. And that's it. And I think they could do that quite easily. So there are three there that I think Rolex could do a few changes to. Not a lot. Wouldn't take a lot of thinking or a lot of manufacturing. And they could actually change up the lineup. I think they'd be really popular. And I wouldn't be surprised if one, if not all of those three, are done and released at Rolex Watches and Wonders 2024. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. <laughs>